Welcome. We're so glad to have you with us today. We hope you're enjoying the Loving Relationships training and the segments so far that we've presented. Number one, on creative thought. Number two, on the personal lie. Today we'll be dealing with a subject that's a little more sensitive. It's anger and how to get over anger. We've all experienced anger at some point in our life, and we've seen how it's destroyed our relationships. So the question is, is it possible to get over anger? Well, we say that it is possible. And in this segment, we'll be dealing with the anger, why we're angry, what are the consequences, and how do we get over it? Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to having you in the next segment on anger. We're going to start this segment by what we call the forgiveness test. So this is people in your past. What level of forgiveness do you have on them? Ten would be total, complete forgiveness. Zero would be none. Five would be obviously half. So you're going to write down the person, and then you're going to put a number that comes to your mind. And don't try to uh, think about it too much. Just take the first number that comes. What I want you to do is write down the words, my mother, and then put a score of forgiveness, zero to 10, next to that. Then I want you to write down my father. What level of forgiveness do you have in your father? Put the number there. Then the sibling you had the most trouble with. Put their name down. What level of forgiveness do you have on them? And if you were married before, you put down my ex-spouse. What number of forgiveness do you have in them? Zero to 10. Or maybe you should put down my last relationship. What number do you put down next to that? Zero to 10. The next one is write down my current partner if you're in a relationship. What level of forgiveness do you have on that person? Next, any caretaker you had growing up besides your parents. Put their name down and the level of forgiveness. Or next one is any abuser. If you were abused as a child, besides from your parents, somebody else might have abused you. Put that person down, my abuser, and put down a score. And then the final one is myself. What level of forgiveness do you have on yourself? Now look at these numbers. And if you didn't get 10 on everybody, that means you're still angry. You might not be feeling the anger, but it's there if you haven't forgiven them. So we are going to talk about handling anger today. And it's a very important topic because anger tends to destroy relationships. Anger, guilt, and fear are the heavy emotions that we need to clear if we want a really good relationship. So let's begin by looking at the consequences of anger. First of all, it's very damaging for your health. It raises your blood pressure. It lowers your immune system. It disturbs your digestive tract. And it eventually leads to some disease. You could have a stroke from the anger. Amaji, our spiritual master, says anger makes you weak in every cell of your body. So it's going to lead to ill health, and it's not worth it to you. Anger is also very damaging spiritually. When you're angry, you are vibrating at a very low plane. So anger prevents you from reaching high states of consciousness. Actually, much of the power you gain from doing spiritual practices in the past can be wiped out when you get angry. So you drain your power and you lose the progress that you made. The fact is you cannot become enlightened and keep your anger. It's not possible. The research shows that the more often you get angry, the more often you get angry. It 
uh, creates a groove in the brain that kind of refires every time you get angry. So, you know, we used to have people come to us in uh, California in the old days of rebirthing that had done a lot of primal scream. So they'd come for a session. Well, they were very good at expressing their anger, but they were nowhere at dropping it. They were just indulging in it, and it kept going on and on. So we are here to tell you it's possible to let go of anger completely, and that's our goal. Anger is very damaging in relationships, as I said. What it does is it pushes people away. So when you get angry at your mate, you're pushing them away, and you're not getting what you really want in the relationship, which is connection and closeness. I am going to give you some important quotes from the Course in Miracles text, and they are so powerful and important, I think you should write them down. Number one, you will attack what does not satisfy you to avoid seeing you created it. You will attack what does not satisfy you to avoid seeing you created it. Well, attack is getting angry. So what that quote is saying is you're going to tend to get angry at what you don't like instead of looking how you manifested that or created that. That's people's tendency. They get angry at what they don't like and they take no responsibility for why they created that situation. Number two. Beware of the temptation to perceive yourself unfairly treated. So what does that mean? Well, when someone mistreats you, you may feel it's unfair and you're mad at them for doing it to you. So you feel like a victim. But this particular statement gets you out of victimhood. It's saying to you, yes, it's tempting to look at why they did it to you and treated you unfairly, but that's a temptation. The real truth is, why did you attract that? Why did you attract them treating you unfairly? So what we are saying is that blame is always off the track. Please take note of that. Number three, the Course in Miracles says, anger is never justified. And Jesus means never. And you might have a hard time with that. But the Course makes you take responsibility for everything. So when you're angry, you're in a victim mode. You're blaming someone else. So you'll never get healed until you take responsibility for why you attract the situation that made you angry. That's why it's never justified, because you created that situation. And why do you attract these situations that make you angry? The answer is because you have negative subconscious thoughts or patterns that draw that to you, and you have to work that out. And the best way to work that out is liberation breathing. The amazing thing is people tend to have a fear of giving up anger. So you can find out what your fear is. Just write down, my fear of giving up anger is. Some of the fears people have about giving up anger is, number one, I won't be heard if I'm not angry. Number two, I'll be weak if I'm not angry. Number three, I won't get what I want unless I'm angry. Or number four, people will just take advantage of me and they'll just walk all over me. So let's look at those. Number one, do you really like to hear people talk when they're angry or they're yelling? Number two, do you really believe anger makes people powerful? I already told you, Amaji says anger makes you weak in every cell of your body. So it's just the opposite. Number three, I won't get what I want. Well, do you really like to give people what they want when they're angry? No, you don't. Number four, I'll be taken advantage of or pushed around. Well, let me tell you, peace is power. When you're at total peace, nobody can push you around. We know that peace is power. Anger is weakness. So when you're at peace, nobody can push you around because you have a strong vibrational aura around you that's protecting you. When you're angry, you're putting out bad vibes, and that throws everything off center. So then people can push you around. 
I'm reminded of a story I heard about World War II. The soldiers in some countries were raping the women. And this is a true story. A woman was living alone and three soldiers came in, storming in, put their guns up to her and said, take off your clothes. And she had no fear and she just stood there. And they couldn't believe it, that she wasn't going to resist and just she was just gonna be firm and not move and she had no fear. And they said, how come you have no fear? And she said, consciousness. My teacher, Babaji, has given us the best teaching I've ever heard on how to handle anger. And this solves so many problems. I can't believe it. It's so great. But you do have to practice it. So he said, you shouldn't suppress it or stuff it. This can hurt your body. Some people do that. Well, you shouldn't dump it on someone else, like your mate or someone else, because that hurts them. Okay, what do you do with it then? He said, you locate the thought that causes the anger and you breathe out the charge. So anger is spearheaded by thoughts, just like all emotions are spearheaded by thoughts. So you can find out what thought is making you angry. You can say, the thought I'm having right now that's making me angry is. So the way my husband and I deal with this is we try to use this as often as possible. If we get charged at something, we don't stuff it. Instead, we say, I'm feeling activated. We don't have to be yelling or raising our voice or anything. I'm feeling activated. That means something is bothering me and I'm not stuffing it. Then the next thing we say is, the negative thought causing me to be activated is, and you fill in the blank. Then you change that thought and then you breathe and <laughs> Other things you can do when you're angry is just run around the block five times or drink a lot of ice cold water or take a cold shower. All those things help too. But if you don't get the thought causing your anger, it will just come back another time. So it's really important to process what are the thoughts causing your anger. People who have given up their anger are having a good time in life, by the way. They're having better health also and their relationships are obviously much happier. <laughs> Later on in this training, we'll be discussing forgiveness techniques to help you give up anger further. To summarize and complete this section about anger, I'd like to say that anger is very dangerous for you and for others in your space, and it's not worth it. It's also dangerous for your health and obviously can ruin your relationships. So commit yourself to giving up anger. You can't be enlightened unless you give up anger. And forgiveness is the answer. Forgiveness is the key to happiness. You have to forgive everyone. For now, until we meet again, let's all commit to be anger-free forever. Mm -hmm.